This is Dr. Lou Sella, Doctor of Sport and Performance Psychologist. One of the most important lessons I learned in my doctorate, and I was blessed to work with Olympic Committee members. I had people on my dissertation committee that worked with Olympic athletes, Major League Baseball players, other professional athletes. This is one of the most important lessons I learned. And when you look at self-sabotage in coaching, I remember listening to Chip Kelly, who I'm going to tell you right now, and I was, I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan. I was a season ticket holder for four years. Chip Kelly set the table for Doug Peterson to eat. And that's how they won a Super Bowl, because Chip made decisions that were not for the short term, they were for a long term gain. And Doug Peterson benefited from that. Now, Doug did a great job, but Chip set the table, as he always does, because he tells people no, he continually does the right thing, and he helps people advance. Same thing happened with the 49ers. Gets hired, cleans everything up, no patience with the organization, but he set the table for Kyle Shanahan. That's what he does. So, Chip Kelly, first one I ever heard say this over 10 years ago. Self-sabotage causes the super majority of problems within your football organization. Self-sabotage. And the goal is, is to eliminate self-sabotage. Now, how do you do that? A lot of these elements came directly from Coach Nick Saban, but... In general training of Olympic athletes, when you create this environment, you eliminate distractions and you eliminate self-sabotage with you, your coaches, and your players. Here's what you got to do to create that elite performance environment and eliminate self-sabotage, also known as self-inflicted wounds. Number one, it has to be an urgent environment. How urgent? You should be focusing on running plays at a speed of at least two reps per minute per group. I've said this in other videos. If you have two offenses going at one time, you should get four reps per minute combined. My clients, we strive for five to six. I have had clients get to six. Back when I was a football coach, I had my team up to six reps a minute with two offenses. That is how you create urgency. Your focus is on speed and quantity. Because what happens when you create urgency, you create accuracy. The faster you go, it forces your players to learn faster. And they don't have time to be distracted. So they learn it fast and they apply it. So when you get urgency, you get accuracy. When you get accuracy, you get urgency. Now, I want to dispel some things about accuracy. I'm going to say this right now. I know a lot of guys that have chubbies in their pants and like to post cool, tough guy stuff on Twitter talk about perfection. You want to try to be perfect, you'll freaking fail because God will not let you be perfect because if you were perfect, you'd be God. And you're not. But you sure as heck can be accurate. Accuracy is what you're fighting for. If more coaches fought for accuracy, you could own this freaking business. Unfortunately, too many coaches get distracted, but you need urgency to get to accuracy and you need accuracy to get to urgency. You've got to invert those two action words and make sure that you're getting your players two plus reps per minute per offense and that your focus is, are they getting from point A to point B. Your effort should be spent on getting players from point A to point B. Your effort should be spent on that. Too many coaches 
get distracted by too many other things in a play? Did they get from point A to point B? Then you can focus on one combative element. You do that, you combine the urgency with the accuracy. Point A to point B instruction. Focusing on all 11, going from A to B. You focus on that, you're going to get mindfulness. And mindfulness is the result of your urgency and accuracy, your accuracy and urgency. Once you create mindfulness, which is social awareness, situational awareness, they start to become aware of the down and distance, where they are on the field, how much time is on the clock, do they need to score now, does it change the shift. The biggest thing is you create this and this, this and this, you get to that. But this is what eliminates the self-sabotage. Awareness. Mindfulness. And here's something else about mindfulness. And I've said this in so many videos. Situational football, you should be spending the super majority of your time focusing on first and ten. Because if you get four plus yards rushing on first and ten, you're going to be good at everything else. It's amazing what happens when you get four plus yards on first down. All of a sudden, you become great on third down. All of a sudden, your statistics in other areas go up. Your defense gets better. Your special teams get better. Your strength and conditioning gets better because your players move faster. All of a sudden, if you happen to throw the ball, you happen to complete it. Mindfulness helps you with that. But if you put your efforts into first down, you'll be great on third down. You want to know why? Because if you're really good on first down, you'll never be in third down. Doug Peterson said this during the Super Bowl run with the Eagles. Greatest season in the history of Philadelphia Eagles football. He said this to Jim Miller and Pat Curlin. The reason we're so good on third down, and they were legendary on third down, the reason we're good on third down is because we're so unbelievable on first down. It's the trickle-down effect. Mindfulness. Spend your energy on first down. Okay. You're going to create an urgent environment where speed and quantity trump quality. Each offense is going to get two plus reps per minute. Just let them run plays. Quick corrections if there's no, if there's errors and going from point A to point B. But don't stop 10 people to correct one. Accuracy is your constant focus. Stop worrying about too much over technical stuff. Give one combative element and then shut up. It's about getting from A to B. And you do that. Urgency leads to accuracy. Accuracy leads to urgency. Urgency and accuracy leads to, leads to mindfulness. Mindfulness eliminates self-sabotage. Because then you create the elite performance environment that eliminates mistakes. Because you become more mindful with the football. You become more mindful where to go on a football field. You become more mindful of how much time is left on the clock. You become more mindful of variables. That's how you eliminate self-sabotage. Speeding quantity, making sure your focus is getting players from point A to point B, inverting that, you get that. You eliminate that. You'll win more games. Now, if you're tired of getting your face kicked in and you know you're David and you got to beat Goliath, don't wait another freaking minute. You pick up the phone now and you give me a call. 570-332-0265. 570-332-0265. And go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials where you can see all the success stories that have come out of my camps and my academy. The academy's $9.97. You get it for two years. You're going to learn how to run Air Force's modern-day offense the right way the first time. How they went 8-0 for the first time since 1985. 
You're going to learn and apply the data to get you there. We're going to get it done. And we're going to get it done now. I have clients learn the offense in a day. And then they apply it right away. Put your career in my hands. Pick up the phone right now and call. See you later.